What is good YouTube, Fernando here. I'm back with another video. The hair's out, my hard contacts are in, so if I'm squinting, I'm still getting used to them. But anyways, this video is all about these vintage t-shirts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vintage t-shirts. But in this video, I do wanna go over where I bought my vintage t-shirts, kind of what I look for, and just different price ranges that I bought these all at some really cheap ones, and one that was a little bit on the pricey side. It's like 180. I spent around $200. But with all that said, I wanna start off with my favorite one, which is this one that I did get over at Wasteland. Wasteland is a store on Melrose here in LA. It's not too far from round two, so if you ever go to round two, definitely check out Wasteland. I got this there. This was around $40, which is kind of an average price for a vintage t-shirt. You know, you can thrift them for like one to $10, depending on where you live. And pretty much if you're gonna buy a resale, like vintage shop t-shirt, and especially on like the Melrose Avenue, they do tax pretty hard, but I figured $40 wasn't too crazy. And I did like this one a lot. I really liked how it fit on me. This is a vintage Merle Haggard t-shirt. It's printed on a vintage Fruit of the Loom. It's this tag right here. I actually really like how this fits on me. So I'm definitely gonna be looking for more vintage t-shirts that are on this blank. I really like how it fits on me, as I said. And something that you can check for on your vintage shirts to pretty much almost verify that it's vintage. I'm not too sure how accurate that is, but I read that on the internet, so it's gotta be true. Is that if you look on the sleeve and there's a single stitch, I'm pretty sure that's an old way they used to sew t-shirts. So that's like a little thing you can look for. As far as the fit of it, it fits me pretty well. I really like the width of the shoulders. The neck is super snug on me and the length is all right. I wish it was a little bit shorter, but it's not too bad. And on the back, it has a really cool Western print. Now I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I don't listen to his music, but nonetheless, it's a sick t-shirt, poser alert. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Next up, I got these four t-shirts over at the Rose Bowl flea market. It happens a second Sunday in every month, and me, Jacob, and Sanj all went together, and I picked up four t-shirts. So I'm gonna be keeping two of these, selling the other two because they don't fit me as I intended. I did a rookie mistake. I never tried any of these on when I was buying them just because the deals are pretty good, and I was kind of in a rush. We wanted to try and hit as many sellers as we could when we were there, so I ended up not trying on any of these, so. Future reference, try on your t-shirts, especially vintage ones. The size label on the shirt never really equates to how it's gonna fit, but nonetheless, I'll talk about the two that I am keeping. First off is this vintage Rush t-shirt. Now this one, I actually really do like the fit of. The neck on this one is a bit wider than my typical liking, but I actually do like it a lot. It's a higher neck, a bit wider. The cotton on it is really nice. Though it's not an original, it is a reprint, I believe, but it's definitely an older reprint. And the weird thing about this one, I didn't notice until I tried it on, is that both of the armpits actually have holes in them, which is super weird. It has small holes here and there, cool color on it. The reason I like this one is that it has this really weird, like bluish vintage wash. Usually vintage t-shirts fade to like a gray charcoal. This one fades kind of like how Nike socks do. So it has like a greenish, bluish hue on it. Just a nice t-shirt. I think I paid around like $25 on that. Next up is this vintage Fallen t-shirt. I believe this is like an older skate brand people wore in like, what year was it? I didn't skate, I still don't skate. So I'm a poser, once again, big poser video. <laughs> But this is a vintage Fallen t-shirt. I really like the graphic on it. Just a centered graphic. It gives me a pretty monochromatic feel so you can wear it with a lot. Has a classic vintage charcoal wash on it. Fits me super, super well. The only thing is that it's a little bit longer than I usually like, but I think the overall length of the sleeves, the width of the shoulder kind of balances it out. Has small rips here and there. Has some oil stains at the bottom, which I think all together gives it a really cool character. But yeah, this is the last one that I'm keeping. I'm gonna go into the other ones really quickly since I'm not keeping them. Definitely one of my favorite pickups right here. I believe that one was super cheap. I think I got the one for around 10 bucks. So it was definitely worth picking up. Now these next two don't really fit me how I wanted. This is a vintage KMFD t-shirt the reason I was like first drawn to this in the rack is that it was like a vintage brown wash on it the t-shirt faded in like a super cool color I believe it used to be black based off the stitching but nonetheless really cool color on it so I had to pick it up unfortunately it doesn't fit me now one thing to note about this one is that the graphic is actually misplaced like a little bit to the right and that's actually slightly crooked so it's definitely a reprint 
However, I actually do really like how that looks. It kind of gives me like a really weird careless look since it's like sloppily printed, but I think it adds to a lot. The cracking on the screen print as well is super cool, but as you guys could tell, it doesn't really fit me all too well. So if you're taller than me, that will be on my Depop if you're interested, as well as this vintage social distortion t-shirt. Really cool center chest print on it, has a social distortion on the long sleeve, nothing on the back, classic charcoal vintage wash on it. Really good fabric on it. It's printed on a vintage. It's printed on a vintage all style t-shirt. It's a size large. It fits me a little bit small, so that's why I'm selling it. I kind of wish this ran a little bit baggier. That's kind of how I like my long sleeves to fit. That one was around 25 bucks. We got two more. Now Depop is actually where I get most of my vintage t-shirts. And this one is a vintage but not t-shirt. My mom listens to their music a lot and I actually don't mind it at all. Now I actually do like their music, so that's cool. Not a poser this time. And something that drew me to it a lot was like the really weird wash and you guys can see it in the camera. It has like darker splotches, really faded on some sides. The back of it is super messed up. Really cool graphic on the back and the front as well. It's a bit of a smaller fit on me, but I actually don't really mind it at all. It's cool to have shirts that fit you different ways. So that's why I've been kind of opening myself up to different fitting t-shirts. Not trying to box myself into like a boxy water t-shirt. It's cool to experiment, get different t-shirts. And this was only like $10 on Depop, so worth picking up. Now this next one and the last one I got in a store here in LA. It's called Varsity Los Angeles. They have a ton of vintage t-shirts, vintage clothing, stuff like that. So check them out if you're ever in the area. Now I did end up spending a little bit too much there. So this video is all about vintage tees and we're gonna go to a new store, at least new to us. It's called Varsity. It's a vintage store and our friend Sanj went there earlier. He said he found some pretty good stuff. So hopefully we can find some tees. Let's get going. That's true. 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 That's true.
There's two ways to look at it, like I said. But nonetheless, it's cool to support stores like that. I really like the inventory that they had in stock, so definitely had to grab something. And before I wrap up the video, I did get a new lens. It's a wide angle. It's a 10 to 18 Canon lens. Let me know if this looks any better to you guys. I like it a lot. I've been enjoying it. I've been using it for a few days now. But anyways, that is the video. Comment down below what your favorite vintage t-shirt find has been. And let me know which one of these was your favorite. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.